Hi, this is Nick, Lime Green Squid again. Uh, I've got this, uh, another little notepad that I found. I might be doing a lot of these, who knows. If these are boring, let me know. If they're not, let me know. <laughs> this is a controversial survey that I did in a text-based uh, journal once. So let's start with it. Number one, do you have the guts to answer these questions and post them as the controversial survey? Hell yeah! Well, just the title alone has my interest peaked, at least. Two, would you do meth if it was legalized? Never do the chemical drugs. Uh, they will fuck you up or randomly kill you. Or so I've heard. And I'm of the school of better safe than sorry. Just stick to pot, weed, marijuana, whatever. And I still have yet to try mushrooms. Those are the only ones I've ever wanted to try. Uh, uh, pot and mushrooms. Acid has a little bit, you know, you kind of want to try acid, but again, it's one of those chemical drugs that can fuck you up forever. Three, abortion. For it or against it? It's a choice for the potential mother. It's just a grouping of cells, and there's no such thing as a soul anyway, so as long as it's not a flimsy reason, uh, and if the mother has no way of taking care of the child, or if it was a result of a rape, uh, or an incestual, uh, encounter, or if the child is going to have a birth defect that will cause it pain for the rest of its life, or not be able to live, or think, or, you know, anything. I don't see any problem with it, beyond the possible mental and emotional toll it would take on the potential mother. And that's hardly a moral issue for everyone, it's just for the mother herself, and possibly the father, if he cares that much. Number four, would our country fall under, fall with a, a woman president? Uh, you mean your country? My country's Canada. We have prime ministers. But uh, your country would only fall under a woman president as much it was, as it would fall under a male president. Uh, it just depends on the person's competency. It doesn't matter if they're male or female. I think Canada did have a female prime minister for a short while, though. We didn't die. Uh, but I was too young back then to care about politics. So all I remember about her is that mom used to always say that she had that type of face that you just want to slap. <laughs> Five, do you support the death penalty? Uh, this is, uh, you know, as surveys are, sometimes you just copy the answers from the last person because they answered it better than you did. So someone else said, yes. They say, do unto others, but if, you're not, if they're not planning on letting a killer back onto the streets, why should they have to house them and feed them for the rest of their lives? I'll keep that answer. Double true for rapists, since rape is a far more serious crime than murder, in, in my opinion. Uh, because that... Uh, the person is still alive and they have the rest of their lives to deal with those flashbacks and all that uh, unne uh, you know, unpleasantness. And I really go out, to, my heart goes out to those people. Uh, number six, do you wish mar marijuana would be legalized already? This is another, this person, this is a quote from the last person. The original we reason weed was banned in the U.S. is because of a campaign started by tobacco growers, not by scientists or doctors, etc. Interesting. I didn't know that. But my answer would be only so I don't have to hide like a criminal each time I do it, which is like once in a while. But it would need heavy regulations because that kind of thing could go uh, a little too far. As all uh, uh, legal drugs like tobacco and uh, alcohol. Seven. Are you for or against premarital sex? <laughs> there is no such thing as any other kind of sex, really, unless you're an alien or some ze uh, religious zealot. Uh, premarital sex is what makes most sense since marriage, is, is marriage itself is the sham. Uh, and at least sex is real. Just make sure, sure you have the right protection if you need it. If you don't want a baby or you don't want diseases. Besides, who wants to be married to someone who has no experience whatsoever? Well, someone else with no experience, but still, if you know what I mean. Number, <clears throat> number seven, or number eight. Do you believe in God? No, no, no. There's no indication that any god has ever existed beyond the wishful thinking of people who cling to ancient ideas that are long obsolete, either for comfort, or for ignorance, or for manipulating everyone else. Number nine, do you think same-sex same -sex marriage should be legalized? It shouldn't even be a question. People in love, if they wish to marry, and are of consenting age, and they both agree to it and they both love each other should be allowed to marry if they want to uh, although I still think marriage itself is a sham it's some sort of religious uh, ceremony to make sure that the man owns the woman uh, but uh, beyond that uh, marriage is really really 
a stupid sham. <laughs> but if gay people want to marry, they should be able to. Uh, there's no reason they should not be able to. It's only a stupid uh, religious bigotry that uh, holds them back. Number ten. This is a long sort of question. Well, not really. This is a question that sort of didn't really make sense. A 12-year-old girl has a baby. Then what? Well, it depends on the situation. If the father happens to be a 12-year-old boyfriend and they're in love, then let the parents of the couple handle it, uh, however they see fit. Uh, if the father happens to be a grown man, then he should be uh, prosecuted and have his balls sliced in half and bathed in vinegar. Um, but yeah, that's, that's all I can think of for that. Number 11. Should the alcohol age be lowered to 18? Well, lowering it by one... Uh, by one year wouldn't really make much difference, as the legal age in Canada is 19. But putting crap like that in the hands of teens today, I don't know. But I do think the driving age should be lifted to 20. Uh, there are too many hormonal teens uh, driving like maniacs, causing all sorts of accidents and being stupid just to show off, and, and it's really stupid. Hopefully by the time most of them are 20, they'd be mature enough to uh, understand that accidents hurt people and to, they should be able to drive safely. I didn't get my driver's license until I was 22. 12. Should the war in Iraq be called off? Oh, we have enough things that need money on this continent. There's no need for us to be policing another country. Uh, they should be handling their shit themselves. But the president and his rulers, well, this was I wrote this back when Bush was uh, president. Well, when he was governor, because he was never really elected. But the president and his rulers behind the curtain want the oil and sacred ancient ground over there, so we know it's not going to end. Number 13. Assisted suicide is illegal. Do you agree? I agree that it is illegal, because it is a fact that it is illegal, but I disagree that it should be illegal. If someone is suffering every day and night, uh, the only reason they are still living is because the family is being selfish and the religious institutions are being assholes like usual and not letting a person live their own life, then there's no doubt in my mind that assisted suicide with proper documentation and possible recorded conversations and unbiased witnesses to the request should be legal. Out, outright 100% because there's no reason a person should suffer if that's all that their life is. 14. Do you believe in spanking your children? At a certain age, they just don't understand words. Uh, you do have to shock them a bit at first at some things. A quick, sharp smack uh, on a relatively low damaging area of the body should teach young kids the lesson pretty quick. Uh, when they're old enough to understand things, then stop the physical discipline and start discussing. But, uh, but yeah, don't like beat the crap out of kids. That, that's, that's always counterproductive, and uh, people who beat the shit out of their children should be uh, murdered. 15. Do you believe... Would you burn an American flag for a million dollars? Hell yes! <laughs> I'd burn it for the hell of it. But please, if there's money involved, ignore that sentence. A uh, flag means nothing to me, uh, especially a um, flag not of my country. But if it was my own country, I'd feel the same way. Uh, it's only a way for humans to separate themselves from each other, uh, which is one of the stupid things people do. Uh, if our blood flows red, then you are the same race and nationality that I am. Uh, I do still sometimes get hyped up on the whole Canadians are way more awesome than Americans thing, but deep down I know everyone around the world has the same primal needs and just some societies are constructed around them differently. That's the only difference that uh, that they are, and people should just throw down their flags and realize we're all fucking human. Throw down your religions, uh, throw down your flags, we're all human. 16. A mother is declared innocent after murdering her five children. Question mark. What's the question? <laughs> I would be shocked if she killed her five children. That's pretty difficult to ignore. If she killed... If an accidental killing of one or two, maybe, or if it was a car crash that was proven to be an accident, I can see her getting off. Because she'd be suffering even more than uh, than anyone can put on... Anyone any more suffering anyone can put on her. But if it was a conscious act of murder, then there's no way she should be let off, because there's no forgivable motive for that. Unless maybe her kids were trying to kill her or rape her or something, which was completely bizarre, unlikely, but uh, not improbable in this world. 17. Are you afraid others will judge you after reading some of your answers? 
Not really. I've voiced most of these opinions before, and several friends have remained friends. Plus, this isn't as controversial as I thought it would be. At least not anything I haven't discussed before.